Hey y'all, my name is Tyson, and this time we're going to contrast two different methods of how to join solid objects together. So I was recently uh, working with a friend and they had the question, they were creating this coffee mug and wanted to know how to join the mug part with a handle. And we explored a couple different ways doing that. And I thought it might be interesting to show two techniques. The first we'll use um, intersect with model, which is available on the free version, which is why I'm going to be using the web version of SketchUp in this example. So we'll show how to use it with the free version using intersect with model. And then we'll show that you can uh, do the same thing a little bit faster using the solid tools, which is part of the pro version. Um, so just want to kind of contrast those. Let's jump in. All right, I've got this uh, set up so we can make our nice mug and our handle using the follow me uh, commands. Now, first, we, we do want these to be solid. So if I double click, uh, triple click on this and make this a group or component, and then look over here, it is a solid. This one, because of how we created it, let me click on this and actually move it and make sure I'm not selecting this inner line. But if I triple click on this, and I'm going to make this a group as well. And we don't need those lines anymore. All right, so the idea, what we want to do is merge these together. And to do so, let me make a copy, because like I say, we're gonna do this two ways. Now the first way, again, should be available even if you're using the just free web version of SketchUp. And what I wanna do is explore the mug part of this. So I'm opening that group, I'm going to right click on this surface and say intersect faces with model. Now I'm inside the mug uh, group, not the handle group. And what that will do is then if I click out of this and move this mug, the handle away, you can see it's created these edges for me. Now I do want to point out, uh oh, look, we, we actually, it didn't, fully create all the edges I need. So I'm going to undo this. And this is again, um, this kind of should be old news, we're working on a lot of small, tiny little geometry. And SketchUp just does better with larger geometry. So I'm going to scale this up. And by the scale factor down here, I'm going to use 10. And by using 10, I'll be able to scale it back down. Uh, by a known factor when we're done. But by scaling this up, let me go inside here, grab just this surface, right click and say intersect faces with model. It should create those edges. Now I'm going to hide the rest of the model, which I've got a, I created a keyboard shortcut for. So I'm going to hide the rest of the model. And then I can see and select this face and this one. And then copy those. So I'm hitting Control or Command C. And then expose the rest of the model again. And then I'm going to come into this, the handle part. And just to show this, let me hide the rest of the model. And I'm going to paste in place. Which again, I could do with the keyboard shortcut if I set one. And that will create for me all of the edges I need to select the remaining geometry here and here, delete those. I've got a little bit of a, some edges down here. I better grab those two. All right, that should be what I need. Now I'm gonna select both of these groups, right click, explode them. And uh, that joins them together. And then if I select this and hide this edge, I should be able to come in here, delete, delete, and unhide.
I can group this again and then scale it back down. And remember, we scaled this up by a factor of 10, so I'm going to scale it back down by 0.1, and that should return it to the original size. So you can see with the intersect with model command, which again is available in any version of SketchUp, you can make this uh, work and join kind of these complex shapes together. Now, but we can do this a little bit easier uh, with the Pro version and the solid tools. In this case, so I've got this, and again, this is a solid group, and this is a solid group, and I'm gonna select both of these, and then simply come over here, and here are our solid commands. So I'm gonna say, you know what, let's trim these, which is gonna remove any intersecting parts of that, and I'll double click into here and again, hide the parts of the model I don't need. Then it's easy because it's disconnected to triple click, delete, delete. This is still a solid group. This is a solid group. So I can select both of these and then easily create an outer shell, which merges them into one solid group. So that is definitely a, a faster and a simpler way to do it, but the results, I'm going to scale that down by 0.1. The results are the same. So just, uh, again, different kind of methods that sometimes one works uh, where another doesn't, but often the solid tools can get you there faster. That's it. So hopefully that was a little helpful, a little, little comparison. And again, depending on what version of SketchUp you're using, uh, maybe something to, to try out. Um, otherwise, thank you all. Um, do like and subscribe if you haven't. And do leave us some thoughts, some comments, and definitely some suggestions for ideas or, or uh, things that you would like to see us cover in the future. Cheers.